Hi, I'm Hida Fatih. Today, I'm here to present an experiment about shadow. The things I used in this experiment are three circular shaped rubber sheets, torch, two cylinders made of chart paper, cardboard sheet, an opaque object and a transparent object. Now let's take the long cylinder and make a small hole on it. Then take the small rubber sheet and stick it on it. Then insert the torch into the hole of the small rubber sheet. Insert the big circular rubber sheet into the cylinder. Fix the glue drop near the straight edge of the cardboard sheet. Stick the opaque object on it. Now insert the cardboard sheet into the slit on the rubber sheet. Next, take the small cylinder and insert the cardboard sheet into the cylinder. Slide the other end of the cardboard sheet into the big cylinder such that the small cylinder and the big cylinder comes one unit. The complete cylindrical unit should look like this. Now let's switch on the torch. Now you can observe that the tree's shadow is shot. Now let's see what happens when we change the position of the light. Now you can see that the position of the light is changed and the size of the shadow is also changed. What color is the shadow? Is it the color of the tree? No, it will always be dark. No matter what color is the object. Now let's replace the opaque object with the transparent object. Now you can observe that the shadow is light in color. From this experiment, we learn that a shadow will not form without a source of light. It is formed when the path of light is blocked by an object. The three main conditions for the formation of shadow are a source of light, an object 